What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is very exciting indeed because AMD has just revealed their new lineup of Ryzen 5 CPUs. Oh my God! So for those of you who are unfamiliar, this uh, the Ryzen 5 stack falls just behind the Ryzen 7 family in terms of performance. However, we're gonna see a lot more aggressive pricing with these particular options than Ryzen 7, which makes it a very attractive deal for budget gamers or content creators alike. We've got four new SKUs to discuss today. Uh, in relative detail, uh, AMD didn't give everything away, but we certainly know a lot more than we just did uh, yesterday. So uh, we're gonna be talking about those four of these parts, two of which are six core 12 thread. The other two SKUs are four core eight thread. So definitely a nice range of options and capabilities between these various CPUs in the R5 lineup. Uh, we're also gonna be seeing all of these SKUs launch on April 11th. So mark your calendars, get your wallets ready. This is going to be fantastic. And this is really just right around the corner if you're watching this video around the time of upload. I also wanted to mention that all four of these SKUs are gonna be featuring unlocked multipliers. So all you overclockers out there can go ahead and tweak and tune uh, your various clock speeds uh, higher than what they're rated for out of the box. And then uh, lastly, I wanted to mention that uh, SenseMI is also going to apply to all of these parts as well. SenseMI, again, is just AMD's sort of umbrella of technologies uh, to really improve the user experience and the performance of the chip itself. This includes things like Precision Boost, XFR, and the like. So on that note, let's go ahead and talk about our first chip here, which is the flagship six core 12 thread part, the 1600X, the R5 1600X, which is MSRPing, that's now a word, for just $249. And uh, that's very exciting. It actually puts it very competitively priced with the Core i5 7600K. However, it's got two more cores and four more threads, which is super awesome. Uh, we've also got a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz with a boost of four gigahertz. And I believe that's going to be single core. Don't quote me on that. That's, that was one detail that AMD left out, but I think that four gigahertz boost is going to apply to a single core for a single threaded workload. You're probably gonna have to manually overclock it uh, in order to apply that frequency to all cores, just how we saw with Ryzen 7. As far as XFR goes, AMD was also uh, leaving us in the dark as far as uh, what kind of boost we could expect from XFR, if it was just gonna be another 100 megahertz overclock, similar to, to what we saw on the 1800X, for example, or if it's gonna be something completely different, we don't know at this point, but XFR will in fact be there. We've also got a 95 watt TDP on this particular chip. This is the only part in Ryzen 5 that is rated at 95 watts uh, TDP. All the other SKUs are, are 65 watts, so uh, bear that in mind. This is also the only SKU in R5 that is not going to come bundled with any cooler, so it's just going to be the, 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 the part a la carte I'm rhyming now, and I would assume that's because the 1600X is going to appeal mostly to the enthusiast crowd, and they're probably gonna wanna bring in their own CPU coolers anyway. But nonetheless, a very exciting SKU that I can't wait to get on the test bench and uh, just see how she flies. Next up, we've got the 1600, which is the other six core 12 thread part in the Ryzen 5 lineup. Uh, this is gonna be uh, retailing for $219, very attractive price points here, uh, with a 3.2 gigahertz out of the box base, with a boost up to 3.6 gigahertz. Again, we don't know how XFAR is going to affect this particular part. The 1600 will ship with a 65 watt TDP and will also come bundled with the Wraith Spire cooler, very similar to the one that uh, comes packaged with the R7 1700. However, all of the Spire coolers that come bundled with R5 parts will not feature any LED uh, bling, so to speak. So that glowing ring around the fan will just simply not be there. Everything else is, is the same. Uh, and then uh, we've got two more SKUs to talk about here, which are going to be our four core eight thread parts. Also very exciting, especially given the price points. Our first one here is the 1500X, which is going to be MSRPing again for $189. Very competitively priced here. Four cores, eight threads, a boost clock of 3.5 gigahertz, boosting to 3.7. And for this particular CPU, AMD actually did give us a clue as to how XFR was going to function uh, with this particular part. So we're actually going to be seeing an XFR boost up to 3.9 gigahertz potentially, uh, which is a 200 megahertz boost, or twice as much as the 100 megahertz boost that we saw on the 1800X, for example. Uh, but 3.9 gigahertz potentially right out of the box. It's very exciting. Like the 1600, the 1500X is a 65 watt TDP chip that is going to be bundled with the Wraith Spire cooler, non-LED version. Now, finally, we have our entry level four core eight thread part within the R5 lineup. And this is the 1400 at just $169 MSRP. Super attractive price point here, a base clock of 3.2, boosting the 3.4. The 65 watt TDP chip will come included with the Wraith Stealth cooler, which is a slightly smaller version of the Wraith Spire, at least from the looks of the pictures. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. Those are all the specs that I have for these four new parts within the Ryzen 5 family. Very exciting stuff. I think the Ryzen 5 uh, stack is going to create more of a disrupt, honestly, in the desktop CPU market than, than Ryzen 7 did. Uh, of course, I don't want to speak too soon on these things until we have the parts in our test beds and whatnot, but very exciting nonetheless. Uh, you guys let me know if you feel the same way in the comments and also which one of these SKUs so far stands out to you the most and which one would you really have your eye on uh, based on performance and pricing and things like that. So that's going to do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know this was a short, brief, and sort of a high-level video on Ryzen 5, but it's a huge announcement that I wanted to share with you guys, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to toss me a like on the video if you did, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Have a good one, guys. I'll see y'all in the next video.